Aaron Salter Jr., 55, a retired Buffalo police officer who worked as a security guard at the store. Salter is being praised by city officials after they say he exchanged fire with the shooter, hitting him at least once. Pearl Young, 77, ran a food pantry in Buffalo's Central Park neighborhood for 25 years, according to local affiliate WGRZ. Her family says she was known as a mother, grandmother, and missionary who loved singing and dancing. Ruth Whitfield, 86, she stopped to get something to eat at the store while on the way back from visiting her husband in a nursing home, and was known to her son as a mother to the motherless, according to the AP. Roberta Drury, 32, went to the store to pick up some groceries to make dinner for her family. Drury moved to Buffalo after her brother underwent a bone marrow transplant for leukemia, according to WKBW. Celestine Cheney, 65, a cancer survivor and a grandmother of six. Her son said she went to the supermarket to get strawberries to make shortcakes, a favorite food of hers, according to the New York Times. Catherine Massey, 72. Known as a beautiful soul, she wrote a letter to the Buffalo News last year calling for stronger federal gun control, according to the Washington Post. Andre McNeil, 53. The AP says McNeil was picking up a birthday cake to surprise his grandson. His cousin says he was a loving and caring guy who was always there for his family. Hayward Patterson, 67, a church deacon who would give shoppers rides home from tops with their grocery bags, and who loved the community just as much as he loved the church, according to a local pastor. He was reportedly waiting for passengers outside tops when he was killed, according to CNN. Geraldine Talley, 62, was shopping with her fiancé when she was killed. Her niece said she was the life of the party and an avid baker and mother of two who didn't meet a stranger. Margus D. Morrison, 52, was also a victim in the shooting. He lived in Buffalo and had three children, according to WKBW.